Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about one green alga that is Clemidomonas and its structure. Clamidomonas is a unicellular motile green alga. The shape is normally ovoid or a droplet like. So we'll draw the most common shape which is like a droplet. So this is the most common shape and the anterior end has a pointed structure which is known as the apical papilla. So this is the apical papilla and from the apical papilla we find the two anteriorly placed flagella which arise. We'll draw those things little later. Now let us draw the membrane inside. Say this outer membrane which we are showing is the cell wall which is made up of cellulose and now inner to it is the plasma membrane. So if we talk about only the structure which is this plasma membrane and the stuff that is inside, then that part is called the protoplast. So this dotted line is plasma membrane. So if you remove the cell wall, then the remaining structure is known as protoplast. This cytoplasm which is inside is distributed into two parts. There is a peripheral cytoplasm and then there is a central cytoplasm. So let us draw the central cytoplasm. Now in the central cytoplasm we find a large cup shaped or sometimes we also call it the horseshoe shaped chloroplast. So this is single. So in case of chlamydomonas, there is one cup shaped chloroplast and it is very large which occupies most of the position. So here in the outer part we would find the peripheral cytoplasm and inner in the middle part we will find the central cytoplasmic part. Nucleus is placed in this depression of this chloroplast. Now, here we find that there are two basal granules from which the flagella arise. So, there are two anteriorly placed flagella, number two, and they are equal in size or length, and they are whiplash type. Whiplash means the base is slightly broader and it becomes tapering or pointy towards the end and they are equal in size. At equal for equal we use the word acronymatic. So if we see this word it means that they are equal in length. Just beneath these basal granules, let us label this also, this is the basal granule. Just beneath it, we find two contractile vacuoles. Contractile vacuoles. And the function is osmoregulation. The two basal granules are connected with each other. And one basal granule is connected with the nucleus. And this thread-like structure which connects the basal granule to the nucleus is known as rhizoplast. These are photosynthetic and so to perceive light there is a pigment here and this pigment is actually the eye spot. So let us take it here. It is called stigma or eye spot. It is red in color because of carotene. 
So it is orangish red and it helps in perception of light so that the alga can move towards light and can perform photosynthesis. In this chloroplast is embedded one pyrenoid and pyrenoid has the core of protein and there are these starch grains which are around it. So this structure is the pyrenoid. In case of Chlamydomonas, there is a single pyrenoid. Very rarely there would be more than one. So this is the structure and it is a typical eukaryotic cell. So all other organelle like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi and everything is present which we normally do not draw. This is the nucleus. Now there is one important thing and that is called the neuromotor apparatus. So what exactly is included in the neuromotor apparatus is the cytoplasmic part, the peripheral cytoplasmic which includes the organelle. If we leave that aside, that means this much part, the one which I have enclosed in this black line. So this includes chloroplast, the centrally placed cytoplasm, nucleus, rhizoplast, basal granules, all these things. So this structure is called the neuromotor apparatus, which includes the flagellar structure also. Now, if we look at these flagella, we find that the base has extension of plasma membrane, which forms the sheath. So this sheath is present only in the lower part of those flagella. So very simple structure, typical eukaryotic, but there are few very important features which we have to remember. This is haploid. So normal life is spent in the form of haploid cells. Now the reproduction is asexual as well as se sexual. So for that, we will discuss the life cycle of Chlamydomonas that how do they reproduce asexually and sexually. So this is the simple structure of Chlamydomonas and in the next uh, video we'll talk about the life cycle which is haplontic and we would also talk about the reproduction process which takes place both ways that is asexual as well as sexual reproduction. So these two things we'll take up in the next video.